Hey everybody, Danny Rod here. Thanks for joining us. This week, I want to start by asking you a very quick question. Have you found that sometimes this game can seem pretty complex? You're out on the golf course and you're hitting it left or you're hitting it right and you don't really know why. Or maybe you do know why, but for whatever reason, you just can't kind of solve the problem. Maybe you're trying to get more distance and you've tried so many different things and they're still not able to get those extra yards. This is so common, as you can imagine, with so many of my clients. And what I want to do with you this week is I want to take you back to basics. I want to cover three things that I find when I've worked with, these, uh, with my clients and I've done these three things, they make the biggest difference to a golfer's strike and distance and therefore accuracy than probably anything I actually do. And I want to share with you each one of them in turn. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you need to have balance in the golf swing, right? And balance comes from a fantastic setup. So many people, when they start playing golf or when they're uh, playing golf, even they playing golf for a long time, they just don't get into a balanced position at the start. So one of the things that I want you to do is I want you to understand that if you, when you're when you're setting up here, you need to get into a very balanced position. So, so many clients I find this either you've got too much knee flex here, there are weights on the heels, but what we want to have is you want to have the balance right from the start. So what, the way you would do this is get a golf club, I've got a long pole here, get a golf club, put it up under your glutes here, and this locates your ball socket joint of your hip. From this position, we're going to tip forward from the waist here, Almost, and you see here, I'm pulling my hamstrings up a little bit here, and if I keep tipping forward, my heels are gonna come up. At this stage, I'm gonna push my knees down into my laces. I'm gonna nestle down now very firmly into the ground, into the balls of my feet. Now you'll notice here, I haven't done this. I haven't stuck my bum up. That's not what we need. We want a nice balanced position, right? A good checkpoint here is if we put a line down from our armpit here, it should be just crossing the tip of the uh, knee here and going down into the balls of the feet. What we don't want it here is, is a sat back here where the armpit here is back. See that a lot, you're off balance in that situation, right? So the first thing I want you to do is start to get into a balanced position at the start, right? If you get into a balanced position and hold the ground with your feet, that's very, very key. You're gonna be able to use that throughout the entire goal swing. If you start off balance, you're gonna really, really struggle to control the swing, generate any power at all, and you'll lose so much accuracy, all right? So that's the first thing I want you to do. Learn to get into a very balanced position, very easy, right? The second thing I find is you've, people have gotta learn how to use their body correctly in the golf swing, that people just don't do it. So I've got this great drill that I learned from a colleague of mine, Stephen Dean, brilliant, brilliant exercise which is, it really kind of helps you to understand how the body works correctly in the swing. So what I want you to do is, I've got a long pole here, but if you just grab a, um, go to a hardware store and grab a, an old broom handle, would be absolutely fine. It needs to be fairly long, right? And what I want you to do is, I want to put your left hand or your lead hand here on top and your back hand underneath here, right? And what we're gonna do here is, if you've taken your posture now, right? And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start to make a swing. As we push down with the left, okay, the right elbow here folds and we've made the backswing here, right? Notice at this stage, I'm not moving, I'm not turning like this, I'm not, in a sense, dipping. What I'm doing here is I'm moving the club back in a position. Notice how my body works here, back here. Now this is key. On the way down, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down, oh, this is where this exercise works very, very well. I'm gonna now release the golf club here. Now look at this, as I release the club, what automatically happens to my body? You will learn the correct, the body re reacts to this motion and naturally opens up. We are not trying to open our body up artificially. The body opens up as a byproduct of us releasing the golf club here, right? Very, very important. So as I move the club back into position here, and I come down, I'm now gonna release the club. What I see so often with people is this. When they do this exercise, right, they often do this. They turn, try to turn their bodies out of the way, right? But that's not how it works. What we wanna do is we want our bodies to turn as a byproduct of them reacting to the club 
coming down here. So watch this, as I release this and I brush the ground here, my body now is automatically reacting, right? Now, notice this, this is a good exercise. So, um, a good, another good image for this is I was mowing my lawn the other day, right? And I've got a petrol lawnmower, and a great image of how the body works is I was pulling the choke in the lawnmower, right? And watch this. As I pull the choke, look what happens to my body here. It opens up. That action here is basically the, the, basically the turn. And the same thing on the way through. Look at this. That's how the body works. If you understand this, it will really help you stay centered. For those of you who sway around too much because you're moving your body right and moving your body left, it's often a misinterpretation of how you should turn. The body turns and it also tilts, right? Some people assume a turn is this. It's not, right? The body turns and tilts. Look at this. I'm opening up. I'm opening up the body here and opening up the body there. Let me show you from this angle here. So look at this. So the turn back, the body opens here, comes back, and then look, as I release the club now here, notice how the body naturally re reacts. Get yourself a long broom handle works fantastically well. So let me show you from this angle here. So as I turn back here and I come down, watch this, bang, I'm releasing the, um, the club and my body is naturally opening up and reacting. Wonderful way to feel what's going on. I'll come back to that in a second. Finally, the third thing that I want you to do and I want you to learn Use, to, use the weight and gravity of the golf club. So, so important. So once you've got your balance in position, you've taken your posture, you've now got a feeling, for instance, of what's, what goes on here. Now what you want to do is take a golf club and start to use the gravity of this great big chunky weight of iron here and start to sling the iron up here, right? If the club's high, we've got gravity in the golf club. From this position, what I want you to do is, you've got the feeling of this now, start to let the weight of the club fall now, down, just as you're doing that, uh, the, um, the pole there, fall into position here. And look how the body now, from this position, reacts there. So many people are hanging on to the golf club so tightly that they get to this position here, the club is not allowed to drop, and they are turning their bodies out of the way, causing shanks, pulls, slices, you name it, but a huge loss of power, right? And it's often because this game is quite counterintuitive sometimes, right? So many times when we're playing, we feel like we want to hit it straight, but as we're doing, we're trying to control the club too much. Let the club go. Let the weight work for you, right? So we're going to sling the club up into the sky here, and as we come back down, we're going to allow the club now to fall here, and our bodies react. Let's show you this in action. There we go. Let's have a look at this from here. So again, look at this here. I'm winding the club back. I'm finding my balance point. I'm not sat back here. If I sat back on my heels, I go around. You'd be surprised how many people do this. I'm not on my toes here. I'm really balanced. Very important. Step number one. Step number two, right? We're going to wind it back properly. We're going to push down with our left. Let the right elbow fold into position here. And as I come down, watch this now. I'm coming down here and then watch. I'm allowing the club to drop and drop and look how my, bo my body automatically releases through that shot. This is what I want you to practice. Get that sensation with a pole a few times, then grab a ball and then bit by bit, you might even want to do a small one, so let me do a smaller shot here to try and feel that position there. And through. Nice straight iron shot. I'm throwing the club down, I'm allowing my body to react through the shot. So let's summarize, what three things, keeping this simple, what three things could you work on that could, for me, make the biggest difference? Balance. You have to have balance through the swing. And balance for me starts with a very, very good setup. Go through the procedure here. You know, when you're falling forward, don't stick your bum out. After, often people have been taught to do that. Tip forward from the hip bone here, right? Once you're there, fantastic. Once you've tipped forward, now you're ready. Second thing, 
get a broom handle, right? A nice long broom handle. Get that sensation here of we're gonna uh, left, the lead hand is on top, right hand is underneath. You're gonna push back here and you're winding back into position here. Look at the right elbow folding. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna work the club back down here into impact. Look how my body, as I release the club here, look how my body reacts to this, all right? So many people do this. They're moving their bodies around here, right? We don't do that. Look at this, I'm working it back, working it down, and my body reacts to the club. My body's not leading, right? My body's turning, reacting to the golf club here. Fantastic, right? Then you've got, finally, the club head, right? The club head swing. You've got a big heavy weight. Use gravitational forces. Use the weight of the head. Sling the head up. Allow the weight and the power to come down. I often hit golf balls one-handed, this will be interesting, one-handed, right, to show people how far we can hit a golf ball because I want that, let the club, there we go, look at that, it's probably still got about 130 yards. Use gravitational forces to generate power, right? I haven't got massive, massive yards, but that's traveled a fair, fair few yards, right? So I hope you really enjoyed this. Keep things simple, go and work on this. And if you think anyone else might benefit, please share it. And of course, look, if you're enjoying the channel and you wanna receive it in your inbox every week, don't forget to press the subscribe button and the bell. Until next week, have a great golfing week.